Question 11. A particle with mass moves in a horizontal straight line through a uniform electric field. Okay, it's very strange to see electric field in question 11, but okay, CIE, you are not obliged to be consistent. <laughs> okay, so the electric field is vertical, sure. There is significant gravitational effect. Fuyo. Significant, ah. that means we cannot ignore gravity. So normally when we look at electric field, right, we sometimes ignore the weight of the particle because we are accelerating something like a proton or an electron where the weight is negligible compared to the electric force. But in this case, it is not. So just FYI, they tell you already. What could be the direction of the electric field and the sign of the charge, if any, on the particle. Okay, boss. Step one. I notice the particle is moving on a straight line. Now, if the particle is moving in a straight line, then I need to make sure that whatever forces acting on the particle, they will cancel out. If not, the particle will either turn upward or turn downward. Right now, I know the direction of gravity. Direction of gravitational field, as usual, is downwards. If the direction of gravitational field is downwards, it means that the direction of gravitational force or mg or w is downward. So if I turn off the electric field, here is what will happen to my particle. My particle will go downward. So this one is when your E is zero. Well, good news. E is not zero. So to counterbalance your weight, we need an electric field to pull the particle in an upward direction, Fe. So basically, the direction of Fe is up. So I'm going to now have to deduce the direction of Fe for each option. First option, electric field is downwards. Sign of the charge is negative. Okay, so just so you know, if this is the direction of the electric field, downwards, you can think about your plates. La. Let's say I put two parallel plates here, one here and one here, two parallel plates. Okay, and if the direction of the electric field is downwards, this is positive, this is negative. Okay, this is for people who need a bit of help in the memory department. Okay, so if your electric field is pointing downwards. If let's say you have a negative charge inside this parallel plate, the negative charge will be attracted to the positive plate. So this is the direction of Fe. So this one is up. So A is a viable candidate, which means if I put a positive charge inside this parallel plate, this positive charge will be downwards. Okay, so this positive charge will go downwards because the direction of electric field is downward, meaning the top plate must be positive and the bottom plate must be negative. Electric field lines go from positive to negative. So Fe is downwards. So down. Okay. Uh, no charge one can just throw away. La, okay, this direction of Fe, no charge means Fe is zero. Okay, so what about the electric field direction being upward and the charge is negative? Okay, now change the drawing. Uh, mm -hmm. I draw here. La. Here's how I'll change the drawing, which I can do. I mean, the labels are going to look weird, but I can flip it. Ding. Okay, so if I change the direction of the electric field, to upwards, the negative charge is going to be attracted to the positive plate. So this is Fe. So your Fe is now down. Whereas this one, I mean, if, if it's relevant, this is Fe. La. But this is not the case. Ma. Okay, so I'm just going to rub this because this is not included in our selection. This is option C. This is... Change color. This is option C, this is option A, and this is option B. Okay? So there's only one that gives us the direction of the force that we want. 
to balance our weight, we need Fe to be pointing upwards. Okay, so the answer is A. So I'll write here to balance Mg, which is downwards. Okay, there are other questions uh, regarding this in, I think, May, June 19. Okay, and I probably also included this in the X, the speed run videos, lah, so you can watch that. But when it comes to electric field, right, please make sure that you know or you understand that the fastest way to do this is not to draw the parallel plate like what, like what I did, because it will take you some time. And objective, you tend to run out of time. So is to understand that Fe and E is the same direction if it's positive charge. Look at here. So this direction of field line, right, the direction of E is Fe on positive charge. So if you have a basic understanding of this direction of electric force on a positive charge is the direction of electric field line, then you can just follow this loop. So if the field is down, And if it's positive, then it will be down. If the field is up, if it's negative, then it will be down. If it's down, but it's negative, then it will be up. You flip the field. So direction of E is follow direction of force on a positive charge. Negative charge, uh, change direction. No? Positive charge, uh, follow direction. No? Negative charge, uh, change direction. So you can up, down, down very fast. Because downward for negative, change it to up. Downward for positive, maintain. Upward for negative, change it to down. And we are looking for an upward force. All right, so that's it for the question. So other non-conceptual questions that you might want to try will be from May, June 20, paper 1, 3, question 32. And May, June 20, paper 1, 2, question 32. That's what I mean by it's very weird to see an electric field question so early in the paper. But never mind, it's okay. This is a FedMash 2 one. FedMash papers are always slightly anomalous. All right, that's it for this question.